So we've seen that require.js is great for loading dependencies. And in our require or define functions, we can define dependencies to load before executing our script. Um, but sometimes even the libraries that we're loading into our project have dependencies themselves. And a good example of that is Bootstrap. So if we go to the Bootstrap website, which we are using quite a lot, um, and we go to documentation, and if we just read about the JavaScript, so you can see many of our components require the use of, of JavaScript to function, specifically they require jQuery and popper JS. Um, it said to, an, and then if we go down to the second line, jQuery must come first, then proper.js, then our JavaScript plugins. And you can see that on the scripts that we've been using, we've always been loading jQuery first. Now, we're not going to be loading JavaScript in these script tags anymore because we are moving to a require.js, more modular build as our projects get more complex. And as such, we need to be able to load jQuery uh, before we load our other two files. So here we've got jQuery, popper.js, and bootstrap.js. Now, Bootstrap have also released this bootstrap bundle, um, which includes popper.js. So that includes bootstrap and popper, but not, you can see here, but not jQuery. So what we're going to do is we're going to load jQuery um, which we already have done in our project, um, and then we're going to load Bootstrap Bundle. And we're going to make sure that we load jQuery first by using a shim config. So let's do that now. So I'm just going to copy this path to Bootstrap, execute it in here, and you can see if we add in Bundle, we should be able to access the bundled version with popper.js, which we have done here. So I'm not going to save this file locally. You guys can if you want, but I'm just going to show you uh, using the CDN. I think you guys get the idea um, from our previous example. Um, so that's our first path to jQuery, and now we need Bootstrap. And I've just copied that link. So you can see that we have now loaded uh, bootstrap.bundle.min.js into our project. Now, we need to make sure that jQuery is loaded before Bootstrap. And just by inserting jQuery above, above Bootstrap here, that's still not enough. Um, jQuery might take longer to load than Bootstrap, in which case um, Bootstrap will be loaded first. So we need to actually add a dependency. And we can do that using shim. So this is our shim config. And we're basically setting an additional configuration file with a dependency for Bootstrap. So we're saying that in order before we load, oops, there we go, that's right. Before we load Bootstrap, we need to load jQuery as a dependency. And we can set our dependency to jQuery. So just to note again of what's happening here. Um, so we are saying that before we load Bootstrap, so this link here, we have a dependency on the loading of jQuery. So jQuery needs to be loaded first and then Bootstrap. And in our require, we can all also add bootstrap. So let's test this and see if everything is loading as we'd expect. So I'm going to refresh. Oh, maybe we have an error there. Let's have a look. Script error for bootstrap. So we can see we're trying to load .js, .js. So we've made a silly mistake. Um, as we've mentioned countless times before, um, we do not add .js onto our URLs. 
um, because require.js automatically um, appends them. So hopefully now that is working. Cool, and if you go to network, you can see that we have now loaded Bootstrap successfully, um, and it is being loaded after jQuery, so no errors. Now I'm just gonna show you a little trick here just to test that uh, Bootstrap is in fact being loaded successfully. Um, just this little trip, little trick that I found on Stack Overflow, just for finding the version of Bootstrap. Um, and we can also find the version of jQuery by using similar syntax. Cool. And these should nicely appear in our console, which they do. So our jQuery version is 3.3.1. If you remember, that is right from our previous lesson. And we're using 4.3.1 version of Bootstrap, uh, which you can see them both here. Nice, so that is all for our shim config. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're now able to load libraries that are dependent upon other libraries um, already having been loaded into our project.